Okay, dear student, let's see what is there in this question. Planet X has a gravitational field strength of 18 Newton per kg at its surface, okay, which is actually, it means acceleration due to gravity is 18 meter per second square. My dear students, do not get confused. What is happening here is the gravitational field strength, it usually it is written by I. Okay, like in many books, it is written as I, gravitational field intensity or gravitational field strength. But in books for IB physics, I have seen that they are not using I as a symbol. They are directly writing it as G. Basically, this I and G have the same magnitude and also they have the same unit also. Like Newton per kg can be very easily converted into meter per second square. They are technically the same. They are fundamentally they are same, but actually... These are two different physical quantities as you can clearly see from the units. Although these units are interrelated, they are derivable, but still this is the acceleration due to gravity and this is gravitational field strength which is force per unit mass. This is force per unit mass, but we all know that force per unit mass is actually the acceleration indeed and that is why it is G. So there is a very thin difference, very thin layer that separate these two concepts. They can be taken as same. They can be at the same time. They can be treated as two different concepts. But in IB physics books, they are usually taken as the same. So the confusion increases. Like why is this thing happening? Why are you calling this acceleration due to gravity as gravitational field strength or gravitational field intensity? Should not these two things be different from each other? So there are a couple of questions that come to the student's mind. But this is what is the explanation for this. So you can write it as 18 meter per second square or you can write it as 18 Newton kg. One thing is the same. Planet Y has the same density as X but three times the radius. Okay. What is the gravitational field strength at the surface of Y? Okay. Bit confusing. Bit confusing question. Do not worry at all. So let us start again. So this is the value of G which is given. So G the formula that we use for the acceleration due to gravity at the surface of a planet is gm by r square and as i told you that do not get confused gravitational field strength is same as the acceleration due to gravity so we can use the same formula we, they are just have different names that's it so this is given and for planet x this is given as 18 newton per kg or meter per second square one is the same thing now the planet y has the same density but has three times the radius of x. I will just draw. This is y and this is x. So x is smaller. So the radius of y is three times that of x. But the density remains the same. So clearly uh, we are concerned here with the mass. And so y planet will be having a bigger mass. Because the density is the same but the volume is bigger in the case of y. So it is having a bigger mass. But in this formula, we are concerned with only mass. So we have to find the mass. And the mass can be found by the product of volume and the density. That's it. So we will find the volume of the two planets. Density is the same. We multiply them. We find the gravity. And then we find the ratio. And you would be getting the answer. Let's do that. So the radius is three times. So the volume for x can be written as 4 by 3 pi r cube. And volume for y will be written as 4 by 3, 3 r cube, which becomes 27 times the volume of x, isn't it? Like 3 has been separated from the equation. So 3 raised to power 3 is 27. Every other thing can be written as the volume of planet x. So I just club that. So the volume of y becomes 27 times this. And the mass is given by the product of volume into density clearly the mass of y will be 27 times bigger okay so coming back to this like g y is equal to g and mass of y is 27 bigger than mass of x that we just found here mass of y is 27 mass of x we multiply density on both sides of this equation Volume multiplied by density gives you mass. That is why we have reached this conclusion. We just plug this value here and the radius is also given. So radius square, it means three times Rx square. So it will be nine. 
in the numerator is 27 so 9 threes are 27 so this thing can be cancelled out and only 3 will be there so gravitation of y is 3 times three times the value of x it will be 3 into 18 and that will be 54 this is how we do this question i know it could be a bit confusing for students the arithmetic that we are doing and um, i might be a bit fast in mathematics possibly so uh, if you have any problem please mention that in the comment section i will see it again try to post another video here but i think this is pretty good to go with so this is how we do it please watch the video a couple of times and things will fall in place okay dear students thanks for watching this is professor varun please join the youtube channel if you want to watch the lecture series for gravitation all the best